it is expensive here. This, this, this block of my and like right now, yo. Okay, there we go. I done sold so many clothes, got me feeling like for real. How you trap get locked and you can't make bail. Said you moving hella weight, but you looking kind of frail. I can't trust the soul, no, I only trust my scale. I got packs in the air, phone full of clientele. Pockets full of kale, you know everything for sale. You know that it's gas, you can tell by the smell. Do the dirt all by myself, no one to snitch, no one to tell. I can't even tell y'all the last time I had my feet in the grass. You know how they be like, gotta get grounded. That pineapple juice I had earlier was so good. The octopus tacos, delicious. I wouldn't pay $40 for it though. I would definitely just kill the octopus myself and, you know, proceed to just eat it right out the ocean. I also had the pistachio ice cream. That was delicious. Paid for two of them. Cost me $15 four scoops and i can't wait to get back to atlanta and never complain about prices again because when i tell you it is expensive here i'm gonna do what i want because our time here is limited and we gotta love who we gotta love we gotta do whatever we gonna do we gotta stack however we gotta stack but just remember ain't none of that shit coming to the grave with you my friend all right so, how did I quit my job? I was with my OG one day, back in PA. I used to do bounce houses, which sounds crazy. I used to do bounce houses. I used to get paid $50 a day. I was young though, I was a teenager, I was mad young. But I used to get paid $50 a day, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But the lessons I learned from that job to this day carry throughout my everyday living life my everyday you know what i mean but i was with my og one day and i was doing really well with my camera with my camera work and he said to me yo why don't you just quit like why don't you just take it there go full time you're always shooting every every day now you're shooting like you might as well just do it and he was right i was should have saved up six months of expenses though but I really quit my job because I asked for a day off on a Sunday, right? Quested it. And I told him, hey, probably prior to that, yo, I'm going to need this time off whenever I ask for it because I really, really, really need to pursue this career because I don't want to be here and Michael Kors working with y'all. Yes, I used to work at Michael Kors. And they said, okay, no problem. Never asked for any days off. Never did anything rude, like called out or used up my six days my sick days i had perfect attendance in high school for most of most of my years but i quit my job over 50 dollars, and this is why i put in a request to have sunday off and i didn't get it somebody had already given me a 25 dollar deposit crispy light and i was like yo it's so rude of me i grew up in a very business standing on business uh household and I thought it was rude of me to just not show up. And it's not like I could have given the gig to anybody else. I didn't know anybody else that had a camera at this time. So I ended up calling that same Sunday and quitting. Quit my job over $50 back in, I don't even know when, but yeah. I had to go to this kid's concert and I had to shoot for him. It was so rude to me not to. He already gave me a deposit. I said I'd be there. So how could I not show up? So I quit. And I have not ever looked back. Now, do I get scared and worry about what the f I'm going to do tomorrow? Yes. I don't know what I'm going to do after all these trips. But I will tell you, while I'm here... Oh my god. I'm gonna enjoy it. <laughs>
four months, a year and four months to get back on the beach. But I did it my way. I did it with the camera. That looked like a train in the water, and I was about to just walk away because I'm not about to. No. No. Wow. This sunset looks beautiful. Alright, I think I just burned my eyes off, but. <sighs> Gotta go take a piss. Did I know I was always going to do this? In a way, yes. I always thought that I was going to be a f professional fighter, but in the back of my head, I'm like, mm, CTE. And I was low key sounding stupid way before I was even 21. Like, I, I felt my brain moving just slow I, I could think and all that but my body's speaking ability and just timing for certain stuff other than fighting was just very slow and i was like huh maybe i should stop this that was part of the reason but I low key always knew i was going to do this i was editing halo 2 videos and falling in love with it on a tablet i used to make my cousin hold the tablet as I'm playing Halo 2, and he would cry from his arms hurting. And I feel so bad about it every time I think about it, but it helped it helped bring us to this position. You know, I probably owe him a nice present or something now, but yeah, I always knew that I was going to do this. For whatever reason, the tedious work of editing just made sense to me. It's not even tedious, it, it just is. I'm not a tedious type of person, but I definitely do enjoy just the intricacy of editing all the time. It's just like breathing to me at this point. There's no capitalism running through my veins and, oh my God, I got to do this. I got to, uh, no, it's gone. It's not existent. Then after this trip, we had to go to Barbados for a an even longer time than we were here in Nobu and Los Cabos. Who wouldn't want that? If you're someone who's interested in this type of lifestyle, obviously. But when I speak to people, I hope that it's to those that want and crave success like this. And I don't even sit here and say I'm successful, but just the opportunity to even do things like this and travel and work with the people that I work with. I'm talking to those people. Some people just want to have a family and that's more than okay at some time of the day i will just want to have a family and stay home and just be in some remote town and just chill but right now nah i'm trying to do this and i'm trying to take it there i speak to an audience who does nothing but dream all day and fantasizes about the life that they could have I'm talking to my delusional people the people who don't really ever sit in the present and who don't ever really sit in the future but they sit in the what could be those are the people I speak to every day because this is absolutely just beautiful when you sit here and you take this in and you look at where you came and what camera you bought and just like wow damn I came from the Poconos off of a T6. A gray bottom with the orange mid. A light blue of some color and the pink. See, people like to watch the sun go down. I like when the sunset's finished and you see more beautiful colors in the sky. And that purple orange color mixing together. It's like, yeah, what are those birds doing? Like, birds just be flying. Like, have y'all ever just questioned? Like, they're just flying in the middle of the ocean. They're not even diving down for food. Like, what are they doing? Oh, God, it's really dark. All right, let me get out of here. Outside, long nights, long days. Wondering what you want. You stay right on my brain. Hit you up, but you never answer no. I've been wondering what you want. I've been missing on your love. You know what they say that you don't ever know. Just what you have, till it's up and it's gone. I'm in my way, trying to get to your love And all these obstacles and I ain't never stopping, no Promise there's still good in me I know I've done wrong 
Been away from the city, yeah. I know it's been too long. Sorry, I changed on you. Sorry, I changed, changed, changed on you. She was everything I wanted, she was everything I wasn't. Told a couple lies, found out she was front. I heard things. After we talked, I heard some things. And I hope that was false. Whoa.